Hello, so I'm going to do a cards of the week and I'm going to do one of my analog my analog or hand cut wounds, whichever you want to call it, and I'll do it actually in camera this time, not on the on the computer because one thing I don't think I've really scanned this one in. This is an old one from about twenty one years ago. And again as of my but I like this from the times, especially or even now I still like to do it where I have a base image. So this my base image was this of this um, Canadian uh, Mountie um, paddle going down in a canoe, and the thing that I think really um, draws your eye to it mostly is obviously the man looking down here, and this is where I got the title on it, which I wrote in the back here. Called and um, well, I didn't write. I actually got the title from actually putting this here, and it seemed appropriate. So I. Um, Change the title to Masters and just scribbled out so I know that's what it's called. Um, so it's a shame I actually you use this because actually this would have been a good image as well. And nowadays I would have scanned that in and I could have done something with it digitally or printed it off. So I thought just for fun, uh, the the piece of part the part of the it's uh, it's in there for whimsy is the um, is the pie and cheese and uh because of course and uh the um the uh, the piece of hardware i can't even know what this device is uh that's in there again it's for whimsy it's just to make uh this is a, an obvious surrealist piece and it's, uh, there's something in there just to make it look weird and uh it exists for no purpose other than that um it's one of those ones where i'm uh, I, I, I'd obviously found my way a lot by that point of uh, how I like to do my artwork. So it's a fairly standard piece. It's um, not one of the ones I, I pull out uh, regu uh, regularly. It's not because there are uh, certain pieces that I always, when I'm uh, put, putting stuff up for merch or for um, as to display with people. Uh, so, you know, as part of my portfolio. It's all ones that doesn't really get seen much, um, and it's uh, most most of my stuff is going to be in this category because I have created a, a lot of artwork, as you can see by how thick this binder is, and it's only like one of four or five binders um, that are, and only one of them is a thin binder. The rest of them are this these big thick ones, and they're all pretty much full. And then there's obviously all the big the big folders of bigger pieces and then there's all the digital pieces as well so in further, over the past uh, nearly 30 years i've made quite a lot of pieces of artwork and there's also count the ones that uh, haven't that i've actually lost as well so let me know what you think of this piece um i very much i'm very much happy with it it's um it's one of those ones where i just didn't know what what to do with it i could have put it in my book collection the art pirate book um but i think it's one of those ones where maybe it just got passed over or ran out of space uh i am planning on a, on a separate another book collection which will have some a, a bunch of stuff from art pirate books some stuff that didn't make it in there so this could well be one of them maybe i didn't put it in because i didn't have a title at the time i only really actually came up with the title today um when i was looking at it so it's funny how those that happens as well so let me know what you think whether you like it and like share and subscribe and of course my description has my um link tree in it which is has my merchants and my socials uh and i shall speak to you soon thank you